Hey YouTubers and Tiny Cabin people, it's John and Charles with our Tiny Cabin Project. Obviously, it is the day before Christmas Eve, as you can see our beautiful Christmas tree in the background. Uh, so we're not at our Tiny Cabin right now, but we did want to upload a quick and I think a fun video on how we do thrifty things with the Tiny Cabin, how we save a lot of money, and find pretty rare items that you can't find on the shelves of local department stores. Uh, so without any further ado, I'm going to show you how we are going to set up our kitchen sink in the tiny cabin. Alright guys, so this was our thrift store find today. Uh, we found these in St. Louis, uh, just at one of the local thrift stores. Uh, this is a enamel cook set. I don't know what era it's from, but it looks old and country, and I really like it. Uh, so we got this whole cook set for the price of $12 or $13. We got this big bowl here. Three little, four little bowls for like soup. This bread loaf pot. And what looks like a shallow dish that you could use for a casserole or something cool like that. Anyway, the point of showing you these, we are going to use all of this to cook and eat with at the tiny cabin, but this deep enamel, awesome fun looking bowl, we're actually going to use this for our kitchen sink. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut out a hole in the bottom of this where the drain will be and we're going to cut a hole in our countertop and actually inset this down into the countertop so it's pretty much flush with the countertop surface at the tiny cabin and use some kind of silicone sealants around it uh, to make sure there aren't any water leaks. Our plans are to run some type of pipe or possibly a hose, a hose just at the bottom of this and to run it through the bottom of the tiny cabin and it will serve as a gray water system for when we do our dishes. Now of course when you're dealing with gray water you're going to use eco-friendly biodegradable dish soaps and all that fun stuff. But yeah, for the price of $13 is what it costs us to get all of this. Uh, we've got cookware for the cabin, bowls to eat out of, and what's going to be a really cool sink. So yeah, make sure to stay tuned guys. So yeah, that's just our cool little idea on how we're going to do our kitchen sink and the tiny cabin. Uh, make sure to stay tuned because one of our next videos that we'll be posting will be the finished product so you can actually see how we mounted it into the countertop um, and what we think of it, how it functions, if it actually works out pretty good and if it gives us enough space um, to have a sufficient amount of dishes washed. Uh, so, as always, make sure to subscribe to our channel, like and give this video a thumbs up uh, so you can stay tuned and be informed of any new videos. We're going to try to be putting a lot of new videos in quite frequently. So anyway, this is John and Charles from our Tiny Cabin Project, and thank you guys for watching.